Hi guys, Mark here. Well, we're here at Crescent Suzuki here in Bournemouth, and today we're going to be taking out the all new Suzuki GSX 8S. Stay tuned. Well, hi guys, Mark here, and welcome today to a review on the all new Suzuki GSX 8S. Let's take a look round, run through all the specifications first of all, then we'll go for a, a test ride and then final walk around at the end. And again, many thanks to Crescent Suzuki here in Bournemouth for lending me this bike today. So, this is an all new bike for Suzuki, all new engine, it's the same engine that's used in their new 800 V Strom as well. Uh, price on this is coming in at £7,999. It has a 776cc 270 degree crank, which most of the uh, manufacturers are using these days, which kind of mimics uh, the V twin sort of feel and sound. More of that later on. It's a parallel twin double overhead cam. This is putting out 82 horsepower at quite a nice low 8,500 RPM. So this, this engine's really strong in the low and the mid range, more of that later. 78 Newton meters of torque at 6,800 RPM. It's coming in at 202 kilograms wet weight. got quite a low 810 millimeter seat height it's a comfortable bike I've been on it for about an hour it's quite narrow at the front here so if you're not that tall you better get your legs down quite easily just take a look at me on the bike as a reference I'm five foot seven tall I'm 170 centimeters about a 30 inch inside leg 75 kilos so that you can just compare that for yourself just take a quick look at me on the bike got a 14 litre fuel tank tyres we've got a 120 section on the front 180 section on the rear what 17 inch wheels and these are Dunlop Road Sport 2 tyres There's a little tiny bit of space under the rear seat there, not much. Up and down quick shifter as standard, which is a really nice touch, which is super smooth on the up and the down. Got Suzuki's one touch start there, which you just basically just press the button once quickly and it will start. We've got a super light assist and slipper clutch. Suzuki's low RPM assist. Now suspension up front is courtesy of KYB. They're non-adjustable forks. Um, doesn't matter because they're set really well anyway for the road. 130 mil of travel. We've got a KYB rear shock tucked up in there, which is preload adjustable. This bike has great handling. Nice and sporty. We have Suzuki drive modes. A, B and C, we'll look into those later on. LED headlight, non-LED indicators there by the look of it. LED rear light there and non-LED indicators at the back there. 
brakings, strong and controlled. Twin discs up front, four piston calipers by Nissin. Got a three year warranty on these. Seven and a half thousand mile service intervals, which are pretty decent. And color schemes are black, white, and blue. Six speed transmission. The usual excellent, super slick Suzuki gearboxes. I think Suzuki tend to make brilliant gearboxes. I've never, never ridden a bad one. They're very, very smooth and slick. But just first impressions, bike looks really nice looking around it. So Suzuki are pinning a lot of hopes on this bike. You know, it's a new bike for them. So it's kind of taken over a bit from the SV650. So uh, anyway, let's go for the test ride, guys, and see what it's like. Okay, let's try this out. All right, it feels nice and light off the side stand. That's a good start. And as I said on the cut scene, I'm five foot seven tall, 170 centimeters, and I'm pretty much flat footed on it. And it uh, feels very narrow in the seat at the front, so it's quite, yeah, feels very manageable, I would say. Nice and light. So let's just turn on the uh, TFT, have a look at that. So, what we've got, so what we've got here is a uh, nice rev counter speedo gears quick shifter is on we're in traction control one we're in suzuki drive mode a which is the sportiest you've got b which is kind of sort of standard i suppose and c is is rain uh, you've got all your trips and odometers at the bottom there engine temperature and here basically is just your scroll button and your mode button so nice and easy uh, headlight pass and high beam indicators <coughs> horn over this side you've got a span adjustable front brake lever, uh, start and stop, and your hazards. So it's all very nice, straightforward, it's all pretty basic, um, no electronic suspension, non-adjustable front forks. They are set quite firm and sporty for the road, so that's a good thing. So the starter up, so one, one push, and it's got that beautiful 270 degree crank with a V-twin like sound, so superb. Nice light clutch. Right then, let's try this out. Away we go. And we're here in beautiful, sunny south of England. We're actually getting some good summer weather at the moment, which makes a change. So I rode the uh, Honda Hornet a few months ago. So I'm sort of going to be interested to see how this compares to that and straight away I've, I've read that this has got a lot of bottom end power and it really has it really pulls nice and strong from the low end between sort of three and six it really does shift brakes feel good decent amount of bike there Ho, where are we go. So straight away that quick shifter is absolutely sublime, super smooth on the up and the down. So that's all good news. And that is standard on this bike, the quick shifter and the blipper. Right, so nice big mirrors. Very big actually. <laughs> can see a very good view behind just drop the uh, revs down get the revs up a bit see if they blur at all there's a little bit of vibration in them at about 6,000 but on the whole a good clear picture there that TFT is absolutely superb it's very bright and very clear even in the sunlight today I can see everything very quickly so that's great Now this feels slightly sportier and firmer in the suspension than the Hornet, which is no bad thing. 
and around the bends feels really good very confidence inspiring the Dunlop tyres feel nice and grippy I've already been on this bike for about an hour this morning and uh, please report the seats nice and comfortable so no problems there engine at the moment feels very smooth when you open it up you just sort of get those nice sort of power pulses come up through the foot pegs so just going down the quick shifter down into fourth chucking it round powering out yeah it's very 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 immediate throttle response so I've got it in riding mode A which is the sporty mode I've tried it in B and C B's just a, a bit less sharp on the throttle and C's the wet mode which is reduced power and a very soft throttle but generally I, I find that A is absolutely fine So riding position, I'm finding it's very slightly leaning forwards. A little bit of weight on my wrists, but the wind pressure's sort of taken the uh, the wind blast is taking the pressure off my wrists. So nice upright position. Just coming into a little village, 30 30 limit, just to see how the uh, Suzuki rides at the low speeds. Check the fueling. So we're just currently in second gear, 20 miles an hour, and fueling is perfect, very smooth indeed. Just going to pop it up to third, just under 3,000 revs, 30 miles an hour, and again, no fuss at all, all very happy at the low speeds, down to first gear, just feathering that throttle. That low RPM assist is helping. That's really nice. So we've still got it in drive mode A, but, but it's a very mellow throttle. It's not sharp at all. Nice riding position. It does feel very light. Clutch and gearbox all super slick, as you'd expect from Suzuki. So absolutely fine for slow speed running as you can see there guys 30 miles an hour look 3000 revs smooth as you like so um all good for the suzuki in town leg position is very comfortable a little bit of a backwards reach on my feet but not too high on the pegs so all in all a nice sort of nice comfortable yet sporty position very good ergonomics so we're here in second gear now going to wind it open as you can see it's got plenty of go through that mid-range there around about 80 horsepower so it's a bit down on power to the uh, the hornet but it's got more pull more torque from low down We'll do some roll-ons in a minute, a mile or so up the road. All right, we'll just try the brakes out. Nothing behind. Front brake only. Ooh. Yeah, they bite very well. Switch gears, nice and simple and very easy to use. Well, that's good. So first gear, it's going to wind it through that mid-range. Yeah, kind of four, five, six is where it's really nice. It's really gutsy. The engine feels very, very refined. pick up on the throttles not overly sharp it's quite mellow actually down to third a 
Yeah, very impressive power. Think of it as like a, a very powerful MT-07, if you've ever ridden one of those before. All right, we'll just do some roll-ons now. So we're fourth gear, three and a half thousand revs, wide open, fourth gear. As you can see, pickups very immediate. Let's see if it will take sixth gear down to like 30. That's a little bit snatchy and chuggy. Just drop it down to fifth. Yeah, that's happier. So 35 miles an hour, look, fifth gear, wide open. Look at those numbers go up. That's pretty impressive. So as you can see, it's a very flexible engine. Pulls really well from about 3,000 RPM. I say maximum power is produced at eight and a half, so there's no need to rev it past that really. Let's try top gear now, about 40, 40 bar an hour, wide open. There's your 50, there's your 60, and it keeps on going. So we're just cruising along now at a gentle 60 miles an hour. We are turning over at bang on 4,000 RPM and there's no vibrations through the seat little tiny pulse through the bar at bars and a little pulse through the uh, foot pegs but all in all nice vibrations not annoying buzzy vibrations that 270 crank engine really does have a nice character to it back brakes got a good bit of bite And the wind blast at this sort of 60 miles an hour, totally acceptable. All in all, a very comfortable bike to ride, actually. I could pretty much sit here all day. Just dropping it down using that quick shifter. Very nice, winding it open. Ooh, sounds good as well. It makes a really good deep sort of rumble. Just changing gear without the quick shifter, using the clutch. Yeah, super slick. So I think Suzuki gearboxes are always pretty much the best you can get. So blipper five, four, three, two. Oh, very slick. That's good. Second gear, just winding it out through that lovely punchy mid-range. Right, so what's the um, GSX 8S like on dual carriageways at the higher speed? So very easily up to indicated 70. But just turning over a very relaxing 5,000 RPM. So it's very, doesn't feel stressed at all at this speed. If I wind it open, look, plenty of go in top gear. So vibrations are totally acceptable. There's a little tiny pulse coming through the foot pegs and nothing through the seat at all. A little, little tiny pulse through the bars, but nothing, nothing nasty at all. Just kind of like a soulful sort of thump should we say very nice sort of power pulses from the engine so a little bit of a crosswind today it's quite windy and um, no problems at all with stability or holding a line wind blast a little bit on the blurry side but totally acceptable for a naked bike at this sort of speed, you can quite easily hold this all day. I'm just going to slow it down a bit and just show you a little roll on 60 wide open. As you can see, 
it's very quick in top gear so all good guys for the Suzuki at the higher speeds very smooth very civilized yeah so so far guys very impressed with the new GSX-8S super punchy engine from the low RPMs very smooth nice direct handling good feedback sporty in the corners quite quite firm in the suspension not super plush but all in all very very good set up out, out of the factory super slick quick shifter on the up and down very good strongness in brakes just love this roll on from low rpm third gear 3000 wide open and oh it's just really meaty in that mid range and we'll have a little final look round here give you a little look at that TFT again really nice that is first gear and into neutral is very slick as you'd expect from Suzuki gearboxes and I'll just let you hear that glorious 270 crank there you go Ooh. Yeah, very, very nice indeed. Suzuki had done well with that. So, off the side stand. Oh, that's very, very light and easy to push around. That's excellent. Right then, let's uh, have a final thought, shall we? So, Dunlop tyres, the standard. Nice, good grip. Good road tyre, those. KYB non-adjustable front forks, nice and sporty, well well damped, that's good. Very, very strong Nissan brakes. Absolutely superb engine, very smooth, very punchy, plenty of power, uh, five stars definitely for the engine. Makes a decent sound from the standard exhaust. Nice sort of little twin grumble there. Back brakes fine. Very comfortable. Nice seat. It's quite low, so I can get your feet down quite easily. A very, very slick up and down quick shifter as standard. But looking, you know, the rear subframe here, it's all nicely welded. Do like the sort of the matte finish here with the gloss looks good. Interesting they haven't used LEDs for the indicators, but hey ho. Does look quite similar to the um, GSX thousand, doesn't it? Well, there we are, guys. The new Suzuki 8S. What are your thoughts? Are you thinking about getting one of these? I say I'm really into these sort of a uh, sub liter. Um, middleweight naked bikes at the moment they're really uh, they're really good fun they're affordable they're just great that you can use use most of the power as well here in the uk and other countries so anyway post your comments down below please don't forget to give me a like and share and subscribe to my channel and see you all in a week or so for another review bye for now guys